Brendan Job does something really well, and that is lie. In fact, he claims that he never misses a podcast. He puts the onus on Brian Callen. But we put together a little compilation of lies, exposing Brendan Job as, yeah, you did miss a podcast here or there, buddy. So let's go ahead and check this out together. Hey, Chin, but you I'm going to compliment you. Chin. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you are a machine. I don't think you've ever called in sick. I don't think you've ever not been here. Never Chins called in never sick. He's unbelievable. Sick. Never called. I'm talking about in what ten years? Eight ish. Eight motherfucking years. This guy never missed. has never missed. And there's only two people in this room that's never missed. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> hey. Isn't that fucking bizarre, hey, dude? Isn't that cool? Oh, really, dude? <laughs> the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. All right, Brendan's getting his truck uh, worked on. And uh, he was supposed to be here at 12.30. It's now 1.12. And this is me starting the podcast on my own. What's up, DFAT K Army? I'm missing today's episode. I was on the road and... We, we want to put a shout out to Brendan who can't be here. Oh, Brendan can't be here. Brendan had a, uh, yeah. an emergency, but everything is okay. The emergency had, was know. that Polly Shore was on the podcast. That's and, right. And I can't be seen with that fucking guy. Shab is not here. History in the making. First golden hour with no Schaub. He is. I don't uh, think that's the first. Has he ever not come for anything? Yeah, one time. Oh, okay. One time. Because this is the first time ever. I've, dude, I've never missed a podcast in 10 years. Ever. Ever. Yeah. Never missed a podcast. It's the first time I'm missing King Singing the Wing. Two, because this is the first time ever. I've, dude, I've never missed a podcast in 10 years. Ever. Ever. Yeah. Never missed a podcast. Because this is the first time ever. I've, dude, I've never missed a podcast in 10 years. Ever. Ever. Yeah. Never miss but Man, what a great example of what a lying piece of shit this guy is. There's no need to lie about this, but he just goes. Bapa just goes. Brendan also cannot stand that Chin was getting kudos here from Brian Callen. Watching Brendan for any length of time confronts you with every part of yourself that you hate. Chob displays every shitty trait a person can possess all at once. And the funny part is that he's so deep in the lies, he doesn't even know he's He's lying himself. Brendan genuinely believes he's never missed a podcast. It's almost as if Brendan Schaub forgets that this stuff is all done on camera, recorded for the whole world to see. Because the internet never dies. It's forever. Never canceled any shows, right, Papa? Like in any facet. I'm talking about comedy shows or podcasts. Never canceled, right? Okay, Bubba. Makes sense. For real, though, I'm still waiting for the rescheduled UK tour. Anybody else out there and the residency in austin texas when's that coming the thick mutter anybody jumping over to the ponds any day now b and the producer chin must be the most redacted character in the bapa verse right about now you know clint is doing meetings and working while he's out fishing clint was still working when he was on vacation in korea the guy needs a goddamn life like asap the fact he's thinking about brendan schaub on his off time is insane but let's be honest the most redacted character Character of the Bapa verse will always be Bapa. Jin is still highly regarded, but nothing will touch just how dense Brendan is. Bapa sets the bar of redactedness so the others can limbo under it. And I'm going to make a statement right about now. Some truths. Early The Fighter and the Kid shows when Brendan Schaub wasn't there were actually pretty good. Maybe Schaub should just stick to producing podcasts and have actual comedians on instead who know how to run the show but he needs the limelight attention seeker brendan schaub is the kind of guy who looks you straight in the eyes as he's lying to you the dude that says on my kid's life as he places his right hand over his heart all those other missed podcasts don't count nope i guess not were they wearing wrist wraps hell i heard they got recalled by the da but I heard it both ways, B. Brian Callen and Chin's fake laughs are all Brendan Job really needs. The most frustrating thing isn't even that he lies. It's that he lies about things that are easily proven wrong and about things that don't matter at all. No one gives a shit, Brendan, whether you've been at every podcast. So quit lying about it. It's silly and ridiculous. What are you, a five-year-old toddler? I mean, to me, it's like lying just for the sake of 
of one-upping someone else. But that's CT for y'all, B. Brendan Chobb can't allow Chin to get a compliment without giving himself the same credit, even if it's a straight-up lie. Yeah, real psychopathic behavior. It's almost like he's running from his wife and children. But he's a b b b b beast of a podcaster, and how'd Europe go, buddy? Again, I can't find any information about the shows that were rescheduled. Here's Brendan's signature move. He cancels a show or a podcast, then makes up an excuse. Like, this was such a blatant lie that I honestly thought that when he said that there are only two people who had never missed a show, he was referring to his new side piece sitting alongside Jin. Yeah, Schnoz, the one with the nose. This lying redacted POS will continue to lie because none of his employees will call him out. Brendan has no real friends because real friends either call you out on your bullshit or they just leave because you are a lying POS redact. And the craziest delusion Brendan has might be that he is a hard worker. The dude has literally never had a real job in his entire life. Shaw mumbles into a microphone for like six hours a week and acts like he is working 12 hour shifts in a coal mine. But I bet he loves shoveling coal into another man's ass, you feel me? Brian Callen slowly trying to dig at our bapa, yet Ring still hasn't got testicles. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comment section down below because that's what truly matters even though we don't matter. But hey guys, do me a huge favor, hit that like button and the subscribe button on your way out. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks so much for watching the videos. You guys are the best. And if you can, push that notification bell if you want to know when new videos come out. But for now, I'll see all of you in the next video. So take care. Like the Balenciaga one. Jesus Christ.